So this video is to show you how to find scales or survey questions for your constructs. So let's say you have a model like this and you want to find some scales for confidence. Well, here's what I would do. I would go to the internet. Let's just open up a new one here. Here we go. And I would go straight to in.colorado.edu and I would search for confidence. This is a database full of measures of scales, survey questions, and their um, article that they're from, and the definition, that's the D, and the items that uh, are used to capture that construct. So here's one about parenting confidence, and here are the items. I am confident about feeding my baby. I can settle my baby. So this is your confidence in your ability to take care of your child. Here's the definition, and here's the citation right here. So that's one place to get them. Here's a good one, self-efficacy. That's probably more the kind of confidence we're looking for. This is from Agarwal and Karahana, 2000, from MIS Quarterly. Here are the items, the definition, the citation that they use as the origin of these, um, of these scales. So let me click on it, self-efficacy. Here's the full definition of the citing uh, paper, and here's the um, original citation for those scales. Now here are the scales as used by um, by Agarwal and and Karahana. You can also mouse over this and look for similar items. If you really like this item, you can look for similar items. And I'll do just a another search through the database. And it's searching a lot of stuff, so you have to wait. It's thinking. There we go. It found several others. Self-efficacy, self computer self-efficacy, more computer self-efficacy. It looks like it's been used a lot of times. Self-efficacy in spreadsheets. Wow. So you have all these resources. Now let's say you didn't find something here. What would you do? Well, the next place I would go is survey.aisnet.org. This is an information systems specific database full of measurement. So I could look up F see here and see what it comes up with. There we go. Came up with this Compo and Higgins et al. MISQ. I can click on that. It'll give me all the reference information for it. It doesn't give me a link to it, so what I would have to do then is just copy this title, go to scholar.google.com and search for that title. There it is, the top one there. Click on that. Looks like it's in JSTOR. Hopefully you have access to JSTOR. If not, you might have access to another database full of um, articles. So you go find it where you can. Here it is. Usually they're at the bottom in an appendix. And in this case they are. Yep, here we go. Here are the items, the survey questions used to capture self-efficacy. Right here. In this case it's in the context of software packages. Now you might have to adjust it to your own context. If you're not using software packages, let's say you're doing parenting, then you would change each of these to reflect something about parenting. Now what if you can't find it um, at survey.aisnet.org either? Well, what I would do is go to scholar.google.com and search for efficacy, or whatever your construct is, and then search for this word, Kronbach. Kronbach is in reference to the Kronbach's alpha, which is a measure of reliability for a measurement model um, for a set of items for a given factor and you always use the Kronbach's alpha to determine the reliability of a factor for those set of items. So it's usually used when validating scales. So if you search for Kronbach with your construct, you'll often find studies um, that have validated scales with that construct. So let's see what we've got here. Let's just pick the top one. Do -do -do. Let's see if I have access to it. Get PDF. I do. Excellent. Okay, I'm just going to scroll right down to the bottom. See if it's there. Nope, they don't have an appendix full of those items. So I'll go search through the paper. And here are the items. Look at this. Let's see. Those. Nope, not those. Here are some. These are some items, but these aren't the ones I was interested in. I wasn't interested in efficacy. Let's see if I can find them. Task self-efficacy. Looks like they got them. Oh, they used a parenting checklist to um, measure self-efficacy. And so, um, let's see. 
yep, looks like they just use these uh, this checklist right down here. And so they use this to determine self-efficacy. Not really what I was looking for, um, so I probably wouldn't use these. I'd just go look at the next link or filter it out a little bit and see which ones work best. Anyway, that's what you do if you're looking for uh, scales for your constructs and you don't know where to start. I hope that's helpful.